Hello, and welcome to Shark Cut Up CNC. Today we're going to talk about the Vector Validator tool. The Vector Validator tool is this icon right here. If we double click on it, we'll open the Vector Validator tool. Now, if there is no selection highlighted, which I didn't select anything, all visible vectors on the current side, that's if it's a two-sided project, this is only a single side, so we don't have to worry about it. Of the current sheet on visible layers will be validated. This is the visible layer, and this is the visible sheet. Uh, the active layer, visible layer, either way. Now, we'll go ahead and do a search all. It shows me that on this particular case, we have two overlaps and two intersections. You have an overlap here, overlap here, intersection here, intersection here. So the intersection and the overlap are in the same place. So we'll close this vector validator tool. We'll highlight the vector and we'll zoom in to see if we could see what the problem issue may be. In this particular case, you can't see anything. There's really nothing there to look at, even if I move it a little bit. Now, there may be something right there, but it's really hard to tell. And even if there was something right there, I wouldn't know what to do with it. And no, neither would you. So, there's another tool available that can help in cases like this and that is the node edit mode tool it brings up the nodes and you notice that, that where I was pointing there is actually an issue there and again you really can't visually see what the issue is it's not until you actually take the node by clicking on it and dragging it out, either up or down, that you're able to determine what the issue was. The issue was an overlap, which is this overlap between the two nodes, and you've got more than one intersection here. You've got two intersections that are bringing these things together. So what we'll do is we'll leave it like that, and we'll go take a look at the other one, the other issue, and see if it's the same thing. And it, it is. You can't actually see the issue, not until you drag a node outward. Now, to fix that issue, we're going to highlight the line. We're going to click on the node on the outside there. And we're going to right-click to bring up the menu to cut the vector. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, if you look real close, you can see arrows, and that vector, that line or vector is still highlighted. So you can just hit the delete button and it's gone. Now, to bring it back into the node edit mode, click on the vector to highlight it. Because we're still in the node edit mode, it'll bring the nodes back into place and we can drag the node back on top of this other node. Now we'll use one other tool that can help in the vector validator situation and that's the join tool. We're going to check to see that this either open or joined. It is still open but after I use this tool it will be joined closed. So I hit the join, and now we highlight that vector. You notice all this is together. So we're going to close that. We're going to zoom back out. We go back to the other issue, which is right here. And we're going to go back to the node edit mode, highlight this line, going to select that node, right click to bring up the menu to cut it. Now you notice here 
the arrow changed in directions. This line is no longer highlighted. It is this vector that's highlighted. So now we'll go ahead and just do continue on with this. You select a node and then you right click on the node to bring up this menu. Cut the vector. And then we, we don't want to hit delete right now. If we were to hit delete, it would delete this vector here rather than this one. And I'll go ahead and just show that just to prove it. Now we'll undo that with the either control Z or the menu undo delete. We'll select the line we want to delete and we delete it. We select the vector that we want to move the node back on top of the other node. And then we'll do the join tool to see, yeah, it's open beforehand. It, after we use the join tool, it will be closed. So now we zoom all the way back out. We just grab the vector so validator and we do a search all and it's not picking up anything. And if you're really curious, you just highlight everything and do select all and it's still, it's been solved. It is now a clean vector. So there you have it, folks. A vector validator along with the node edit mode and the join tool. They can all be worked together in order to solve an issue that has been sound with the vector validator tool. Have a good day, folks. Thank you for watching. Shark Cut Up CNC.